Hi everyone, uh, my name is Damilola. I'm a UI UX product designer with over 10 years of professional experience in the design industry. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use FigJam AI to create a sitemap. Yeah, so I've been using the uh, FigJam AI to speed up my workflow uh, when it comes to creating UX processes. And so um, one of those things that we're going to explore today is automating the process of creating a sitemap. And so before we start, we are going to talk about what a sitemap is. And um, a sitemap is basically a data visualization for an information architecture. So before you create the data visualization, which is also known as the information architecture diagram, uh, you need an information structure or architecture about the product. And that's what you're going to basically use to create uh, the sitemap. So you need to create like this information that you, you group based on related features. And the sitemap is the diagram that shows how pages fit together and relate with each other. It is very important as a designer to just be able to create something like this and share with your stakeholders and also test with users and get feedback to kind of ensure that the information that you've organized is based on users' expectation. That's just it, basically. And so um, the first step in creating uh, the sitemap is for you to create your information architecture. And to do that, we're going to make use of chat GPT to create it. And so we're just going to open up chat GPT. All right, so once we have that opened right here, we are going to say, create an information architecture for an AI customer support application. And so we'll allow it to do its thing and let us see what it comes up with. All right, so I think this is really good. So you have the authentication and the authentication, you sign up, login, and forgot password, that's just it. And uh, you have the dashboard. For that, you have overview, quick actions, that, that's fine. So we can use this just the way it is, right? So we're going to open up FigJam and we're going to create a new file. And then after I would give the file a name and would just give the page a name as well. And then after we would bring in our information architecture. But anyways, I already have an information architecture that I've organized on a Word document. And so I'm going to copy it from there. Once I have that copied right here on the generate in this prompt area, I'm just going to say, create a sitemap with the information below. And I'm going to paste the information architecture. Once that's done, I'm going to click on the generate and let's see what it comes up with. All right, great. So um, here we go. This is, this is it. And I think it did a perfect job. We have the authentication, login and sign up. You have the dashboard, you have the overview, you have the active chatbots, the quick actions, right? And let's see. Then for the chatbots, we have create new chatbots. We have the chatbot builder and under the chatbot builder, you have real time preview and testing. All right. So this is exactly what I would have done if I was to create it manually. Um, the only difference is that creating it manually would have, you know, taken a lot more time, right? And it is quite amazing to see that FigJam can create this automatically. And this is pretty good. Things are changing. This is really, really um, beneficial. There's no way I'm going to be creating a site not man manually again, uh, since FigJam can do it automatically, right? And that's so good. Of course, I can still make some changes if I want to. For now, I'm going to just change. I'm just going to give it a name and share it uh, with stakeholders, right? And so. I'm going to be sharing you a lot more in the comment videos how to use FigJam to fast track several UX processes. So stay tuned and 
subscribe to my channel if you want to get notified when i release new content and if this information has helped you please like and share this video in order to support my channel thank you and see you soon have a great day bye